Hey guys, it's Aaron, your personal coach, and welcome to my movement development training. This is training day number six, and this is the twist, right? It's one of the complex exercises that is not uh, used all too often in the gym or exercising, but it's something that you really have to understand that we can progress into, right? So let's get going and let's give it a go. Okay, so the first thing like, with the twist, and this is probably like one of the toughest things that I've had in my career to teach people to do a twist exercise. Now, the best twist exercise that you can do is a wood chop, right, on a cable, okay? It's a full body functional exercise. It's great for calorie burning. It's great for the obliques, right? The obliques are the biggest core like, muscles of all. But it's like one of the most complex because people just don't have the coordination to coordinate that top and uh, like the bottom half and that the leg up movement at the same time, right? So what I generally find is that people, they do a lot of this sort of stuff, right? They do a lot of this and they don't get that like movement happening, right? Or they do a lot of where the body falls forward and they're chopping out here instead, right? They're chopping or they just got a straight leg, right? And what's happening is their hips will turn as well, right? See the difference between that and that? Right, so this is not getting your obliques to work as effective, right? So it's important that the feet must stay flat. You're about two shoulder widths apart from your hips and the feet are out 45 degrees, right? The first step you need to do here is just get the movement, right? Practice this, right here to here. Can you do this continuously, right? If you want, let's give it a go. We can do it together. Just get this right. Hips core engages, right? Hips, keep the hands on the hip bones and make sure they're staying straight. They shouldn't be turning in, right? They stay straight. So now, just get your hand up and see if you can keep that movement, see if you can still keep those hips square, right? Can you do that? If you can't, go back to this. We go back, we degress, right? You can't get anything like right, you can't move forward, you've got to go backwards and master that. Then we progress. All right, so once we get this right, try again. Up, chop, breathe in, chop, all right? You wanna keep your vision straight ahead because when you start to look, your hips generally start to turn as well. When you keep your vision straight, the hips stay front. Now, think of this, if you look at my shoulder position here, see this, it's not this. People do a wood chop like this, this is like working the arms, the shoulders, right? The wood chop is, see this? Skinny side on, here, back to here, skinny side on. That is what is gonna work these obliques. This is not doing anything, anything effective, right? We need to get that skinny side on here, skinny side on, without turning the hips in. Hips gotta stay square here. Right, hips stay square, skinny side on, skinny side on. These is where the obliques is going to work now. Yeah, so this is where the magic happens, right? As we chop, see so that? Chop, breathe in, chop, breathe in, chop, right? And if it's super tight in the adductors or your hip area, right, you're going to struggle up with this. So that's why obviously some corrective exercise and some stretching is gonna be key. One of the main ones to help improve your twist is called what we call the Feldman Fry Shoulder Integrator. Keep your legs up 90 degrees here, hand out in front, breathe in. You can pop this hand on your legs, exhale, pulling. So now what we're doing is just starting to loosen up stretch through the back like muscles which can like restrict us and it's also just stretching out through those obliques as well exhale breathe in exhale breathe in anywhere from 10 to 15 of this if you want you can hold that there feel the stretch and you'll feel your arm getting closer to the ground, the more you do, right? Your elbow, breathe in. I love this one, actually, it's so good. It feels fantastic on the lower back. 
you know, just doing this today, I realised how actually tight I am in the lower back and I need to do more of this. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay. We'll just change sides. Not sure you from another angle. Yeah. Breathe in. Hand here. You're 90 degrees through the legs. Exhale. Oh, you, you might even get a little crack out of the lower back if you're lucky. Exhale. Breathe in as you feel the stretch. You lift up your chest here. Okay, you get the idea. Right, very relaxing also. So this is also a really good one to do before you go to bed, believe it or not. Okay, but those obliques, right? You've got to have some sort of strength in the obliques. I'm going to show you a quick core exercise here for the obliques. It's a great activation before you go into any sort of like wood chops. So keep the legs up, right? It's 90 degrees, the head on the ground. You're going to Create a fist and put it on your forehead. You never put your hands behind the head and pull on your neck for a core exercise. From here, you just come up and across, right? Squeezing the obliques, not the arm, right? Come up and across. So this shoulder blade comes off the ground. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Tongue on the roof of the mouth as well. Ten. Okay, my battery just went flat there. The battery light just come on. So, 13, 14, and 15. Let's go to the other side straight away. One. Two, three, four, squeeze in oblique, shoulder off the ground, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more. And 15, great job. So that's called a cross crunch, great for obliques, right? To create a bit of base strength before we go into um, a wood chop, right? Now the progression is going to be, once right, moving up into it, so once we've gone through all the basics, so if you can, again, do this on a band, or if you've got a cable, fantastic. So I would generally start as a mid chop, the outside hand grabs first, right? Because you're working these obliques. You've got to be pulling here, and this one is pushing, right? So from here, set yourself up. Remember the transfer. Shot, breathe in. So now, instead of going from top to bottom, we're just starting here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, a really good like gauge, like when I used to train people in the gym, I used to put my hand here and say, "Don't touch my hand." Right? So you don't want to bob up and down, bob up and down. My hand would be there, so you wouldn't be touching it. You stay low, right? You stay low, stay low. Keep the hips square, stay low. You don't want to be bobbing up and down. No bobbing in this, right? Just smooth here. Chop, breathe in. Chop, remember, it's not the arms. Skinny side on, okay? I'll just quickly show you. Now the side, here, one. 
outside hand grabs first. Have a look at my head. I'm not bobbing, right? So just remember 15 reps. All development exercises you start with, you want to get to 15. If you can't get to 15, the weight's too light heavy, right? Either you, uh, if you've got too well heavy band or whatever, start with like 15 reps, start to build up to 20 reps. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. That is my training day number six, and that is the twist. I can help you check out my website, aaronbuckin.com.